A cordial greeting, today is June 20, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. At the time of recording this video, it's 6 p.m. local time in the Lesser Antilles, where we are closely monitoring the future progress of Tropical Storm Brett, which is heading towards this area. Over the next few days, the tropical Atlantic remains very active. We also have Invest 93, which is a strong tropical wave with a high probability of development over the next two to five days. Additionally, we have a new tropical wave emerging from Africa that remains very active, and we will also be monitoring its movement towards the northwest over the tropical Atlantic. It's quite remarkable, especially in the month of June, as historically it's very rare to see the development of any tropical systems in this area. Surprisingly, this year we have three systems of interest. This could be a prelude to a rather active hurricane season. If we zoom in a bit to this area, you can see that Tropical Storm Brett continues to generate some thunderstorms near its center of circulation. At 5 p.m., the National Hurricane Center confirmed that it has slightly strengthened, with maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. However, the system is already beginning to experience the effects of increasing westerly wind shear as it moves towards the Caribbean. Fortunately, today in the afternoon we have a consensus among the intensity and track models. The forecast for this afternoon is more reliable and residents of the Lesser Antilles should begin preparing for the passage of a tropical storm on Thursday or Friday. Also, note that Invest 93 currently lacks areas of precipitation and thunderstorm activity. However, it maintains a high probability of cyclonic development as it moves northwestward. At 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center had an 80% probability of development. However, when we observe the visible satellite animation, we can see a disturbance that, although it has had a circulation since the morning hours, has lost most of its rainfall and thunderstorm activity. We will be observing tonight to see if new areas of thunderstorms form near the circulation. Otherwise, I understand that the probability of development could decrease over the next few hours. Something I wanted to mention about Invest 93 is that earlier this morning, I mentioned that it would be passing at a safe distance from the Caribbean. However, since it appears weaker than we had forecasted, it may be traveling more towards the west, and the forecast tracks have been adjusted slightly closer to the Caribbean. Nevertheless, there is considerable consensus that it should pass at a safe distance from the Caribbean, but we will remain attentive to any trend of this disturbance passing closer to the northeastern region of the Caribbean. For now, there is no need to worry, and I will be vigilant in case there are any changes in this forecast. Let's now focus on the areas affected by Tropical Storm Brett. Notice that Brett has generated strong thunderstorms near its center of circulation in the past few hours. However, that center is located to the west of the strongest area of thunderstorms. This indicates that westerly wind shear continues to affect this system. Nevertheless, the wind shear is not too strong and should at least allow for gradual strengthening as it approaches the Lesser Antilles. By Thursday, when it positions itself just east of the Lesser Antilles, the wind shear will be increasing in intensity. It is then expected to undergo a rapid weakening process as it crosses over the Caribbean Sea, well south of the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. The most significant change we observe today is that Tropical Storm Brett hasn't strengthened much in the past 12 hours. Surprisingly, early wind shear has been affecting the circulation of the storm. In the morning hours, we even had the opportunity to see the center of circulation completely clear. This prevents the cyclone from intensifying more rapidly, and at least, those are good news for Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and the northern part of the Lesser Antilles. The scenario in which it would strengthen more than anticipated and take a more northerly track is highly unlikely due to Tropical Storm Brett remaining quite weak. That's why we have seen better consensus among the models, and you can see that the track models all agree on a westward trajectory over the next 3-4 to four days. Notice that this forecast is very similar to what the European model has been showing us for several days. The European model has been the most accurate in predicting the evolution of Tropical Storm Brett, and the only model that continues to forecast a stronger system than anticipated is the HWRF. However, the National Hurricane Center is currently dismissing that possibility. I reiterate that residents of Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and the northern part of the Lesser Antilles can feel much more at ease. Nevertheless, remain vigilant for any changes, although the chances of the forecast changing at the moment are extremely low. As I mentioned this morning, one of the reasons we had so much uncertainty in the track was due to intensity forecasts. However, all intensity forecasts now agree that the system should remain a tropical storm as it approaches the Caribbean, and then rapidly weaken starting from Friday due to strong wind shear, eventually dissipating south of the Dominican Republic or south of Haiti. Here, take a look at the HWRF model, which is the only one showing a much stronger system. However, we are currently dismissing this possibility because historically, 
this model has a record of overestimating cyclone intensity in the northeastern Caribbean region. The official forecast from the National Hurricane Center today has continued to readjust the track further south, and it currently aligns well with the models, showing a generally westward trajectory over the next few days. It is expected to reach the Lesser Antilles by Thursday night and is projected to pass near Santa Lucia, Martinique, and Dominica. In fact, a tropical storm watch has been issued for Barbados and Dominica. And probably during tonight, that tropical storm watch will be extended to other islands, including Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, and St. Vincent. Let's see the forecast from the global models. Here we have the GFS model, which shows tropical storm Brett reaching the Lesser Antilles by Thursday night and then moving completely westward, rapidly weakening as it passes well south of the island of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. In fact, it is anticipated that this disturbance will pass at such a distance south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic that the effects, if any, will be minimal. Also, note that the GFS model develops in VES-93 into Tropical Storm Cindy and maintains a northeastward track towards the Caribbean for Monday. It also shows the next strong tropical wave moving at a low latitude, so we will also keep an eye on this other tropical wave. On the other hand, the European model has a very similar forecast to the American model. Here we see Tropical Storm Brett reaching the Lesser Antilles by Thursday night and then maintaining a westward trajectory while rapidly weakening over the open sea. It also develops in VES-93 into possibly Tropical Storm Cindy, but with a track also passing northeast of the Caribbean. Additionally, the third tropical wave approaches the southern part of the Lesser Antilles by early next week. The tropics are definitely remaining very active, and over the next few days, we will not only be monitoring Tropical Storm Brett and Invest 93, which may become Tropical Storm Cindy, but we will also be keeping an eye on another tropical wave. The National Hurricane Center may soon designate it as an area of interest for cyclonic development. Now let's discuss the anticipated effects on the islands of the Lesser Antilles. Here we have the projected wind gusts according to the European model, and you can see that gusts of 50 to 70 miles per hour are forecasted, affecting some islands from Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, Barbados, and St. Vincent. Residents of these islands should start making preparations to face a tropical storm. Also, note that the tropical storm winds would remain over the waters of the Caribbean Sea, passing south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. No tropical storm winds are expected for this area. The forecast from the GFS model is very similar, with gusts ranging from 40 to 60 miles per hour in the region of Antigua, Barbuda, Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, and St. Lucia. Another very important factor is that significant rainfall is expected for these islands, along with a high risk of flooding and landslides. The European model predicts rainfall between 5 to 8 inches from Thursday to Friday, while the GFS model forecasts 3 to 4 inches of rainfall. Therefore, residents of the Lesser Antilles, specifically the islands I mentioned a few seconds ago, should continue with their preparations for this tropical storm. The ensemble members of the GFS model align well with this projection. You can see that all of them take Tropical Storm Brett south of Puerto Rico, dissipating on Saturday or Sunday. We may also have the future Tropical Storm Cindy with a trajectory just northeast of the Caribbean, but for now, it does not pose a threat to this area. And we'll be monitoring the third tropical wave starting next week. The ensemble members of the European model also show a very similar forecast, with Tropical Storm Brett dissipating well south over the Caribbean Sea after affecting the Lesser Antilles. Here we may have Tropical Depression No. 4 or Tropical Storm Cindy, with a track possibly a bit closer to the Lesser Antilles. That's why we'll continue to keep an eye on Invest 93, and you can see that some of the models show a strong tropical wave associated with the next one that will emerge from Africa. Well, that would be all for today's afternoon forecast. Stay tuned for a new update that I will record tomorrow morning. I hope you all have an excellent night. Until then, goodbye.